So we're here in the WIT studio with Mani Ganesan, Senior Vice President, Travel Distribution Engineering and Centre Head of Amadeus Labs India. Mani, how do they fit all that on a name card, that job right. title? That's, that's quite a bit of a challenge. Uh, but just people call me Mani and I just uh, work in Amadeus. So. Yeah, and you know <laughs> better, what you do. Better and shorter way to say it. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. How big is this R&D lab? Um, and how many people does it employ? Like, Tell me about the, the sort of like inner workings of the okay. whole thing. Right, sure. So, uh, Simitis Labs uh, in India is now the second largest uh, center for engineering center for Amadeus. Right. We uh, we've been growing steadily. We set up the center in 2012, and uh, over the last now 12 years now we have expanded to close to 4,000 engineers there. Right. Uh, and they innovate on all aspects of the Amadeus platform, be it the airlines, be it the airports, the travel distribution, uh, travel sellers network, uh, our payments business, our airports business. I mean, they work on all aspects of the Amadeus platform. We also, hospitality is another area where we work. We also recently expanded our footprint into Pune mm -hmm. uh, to lay uh, access to the vast talent pool in the western part of India. Right. So we have two centers in India, one in Bangalore, one in uh, Pune, and uh, uh, quite strategic for Amadeus now. 4,000 is a huge number mm -hmm. like for, of, a, of a fleet to have, right, and to manage. Right. It's uh, it's an interesting question because uh, I started this journey and I was right. employee number one, uh, and at that time we, not in the wildest imagination, we would imagine we imagined that uh, the center would grow this much. Right. But uh, no, no, it's exciting because uh, India is a large uh, talent pool, mm -hmm. and there are so many aspects on which Amadeus is innovating today. Almost every aspect of the uh, travel industry is uh, disrupted, innovated. And uh, so the opportunities are endless. So even though it seems like a large number, but clearly people are busy, people are excited to work for Amadeus and excited to make a difference in the travel industry. Right, right. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the best part about your job as R&D head? See, uh, the most exciting thing, that, I mean, what gets me into work charged up every day is clearly the, the opportunity to shape the future of travel, right? to see, uh, as they say, eat your own dog food. I mean, we innovate on the platform. And then when you go out and all of us are travelers, we travel almost on a daily basis, either within the city or then take frequent travels outside. And that's what gives me the goosebump. When you go into an airport and I know that behind the counter of the check-in agent or uh, when I book my ticket, uh, there are Amadeus systems in the background that are... Uh, hugely impacting the experience in the travel industry. Right. So that's really exciting for me. To know that you help the whole thing Absolutely. Move. The travel ecosystem uh, works because there is a technology provider like us, like Amadeus, who's powering this complex industry. Right. 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 So, okay, so let me zoom in a, a bit more. Right? Sure. Uh, what is the most exciting thing that you are working on right now? Okay, so uh, there are, I mean, I will answer that in three dimensions. Sure. Right. So the first one is around uh, the functional dimension of what's happening in the industry as a whole. Uh, so the Amadeus was formed as a GDS, what, 30, 35 years back. And there was a way that the uh, travel industry was distributing the inventory that the suppliers had through the provider network into travelers like you and me. This model is evolving into what is called NDC or the new distribution capability mm -hmm. where it's still the same network but more and more the providers want to have a larger say in how they distribute their content, how they customize their offers, how they reach out to travelers in a different way, which is more personalized, hyper-personalized. So that is uh, what is called NDC. And that evolution is getting worked on as a large functional transformation in the industry. So that's one key aspect of what we are working on. Then I would uh, talk about it on the technology side, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so Amadeus for the last 30, 35 years now, we have been running our own technology platform in our own data center, yeah. right? Which is in Germany. And it deals with massive volumes and a massive number of transactions. And we have been doing a pretty good job about it. But now uh, with the evolution of the hyperscalers and the public cloud infrastructure, we, have, we took a decision a couple of years back to move our uh, entire platform onto the public cloud, which is a large partnership we have with Azure, Microsoft. And that's a large program that is ongoing, uh, hopefully to complete sometime in 2025. 
So again, massive technical evolution because it's uh, not just a lift and shift of our platform, but also evolving and developing cloud native applications, uh, leveraging the technology of Azure right. to uh, bring more innovations to the travel industry. So that's a technology evolution that is happening. Right, right. right. The third one is around emerging technology, right? Uh, and this conference is about AI. So we are pretty excited about uh, how we are evolving emerging technology trends like AI, like uh, uh, blockchain and so on. So that is uh, the third set of uh, projects that we are working on. So to summarize, uh, exciting evolutions happening on the functional side, on the technology side and on the emerging trend side. On the emerging trend side, right. So as a technologist, and you are a technologist, um, what are some tech trends that you're most excited about in terms of how it will enhance the travel experience? Okay. So while, I mean, there are, there are many evolutions that uh, the industry has seen over the last uh, two or three decades. Right. But, I mean, the one that has the most opportunities today is around AI and the emergence of new techniques in artificial intelligence and machine learning, right? The sophistication that a, a technology like ChatGPT and the large language models that has reached uh, today is pretty exciting and it's going to transform every industry, uh, no less the travel industry, right? So within the travel industry, we see AI coming into almost all aspects of uh, what we do, including uh, the inspire phase. How can we give a better experience for shoppers so that uh, as they look for travel solutions for their personal or leisure travel, how can we use uh, conversational platforms like ChatGPT and AI techniques mm -hmm. to provide a very customized solution for this traveler, right? right. We see uh, possibilities there. We see possibilities around uh, customer service, we see possibilities around uh, how technology, how AI can help us manage our tech platform better, right? Uh, how can we sense disruptions in the platform, instability in the platform using AI techniques so that even before the system has a blip, uh, we have uh, an idea of it. We either heal the system on its own mm -hmm. or we put our human task force ready so that they can step in and make sure the platform is up and running, right? right? So we see AI transforming all these aspects, including engineer productivity, uh, be it various corporate functions like marketing, uh, finance, uh, HR, all the transformations are happening with AI techniques, right? So that's one huge area that I'm pretty excited about. The second one, which started a lot with COVID, but now it's getting its own uh, life is contactless technology, mm -hmm. right? How do you leverage these kind of contact techno contactless technologies like biometrics so that the experience that travelers go through in an airport is as seamless, as frictionless as possible, right? right. And we are, as amateurs, we are exploring in these areas. We have biometric solutions. We have automatic backdrop solutions uh, that are even working in an airport like Changi today, working pretty efficiently. So all these contactless technologies, how it's transforming travel is the second trend I'm excited about. And then if you look at uh, the emergence of uh, multimedia, uh, AR, VR, and all those techniques, which are providing uh, travelers with an opportunity to experience your destination even before you have started your travel right. and form an opinion on how you would uh, structure your visit and interacting with your destination even before reaching there is the third technology that I'm fairly uh, excited about. Right. So mm -hmm. all of this is part of Amadeus's sort of mission to mm -hmm. solve the complexity or ease the complexity, simplify the sure. complexity of travel, right? Mm -hmm. um, what is the one thing that you would simplify if you could, anything? All right, so the one thing I would, uh, again, as travelers, the one thing which gives me a little bit of nervousness when I land in an airport, mm -hmm. has my bag made it, right? right. Uh, and you go to the conveyor belt to collect your bag and uh, you there is a little bit of uncertainty while, of course, uh, most bags make it and so on. If I had uh, uh, some say, I would try to make that a lot more predictable for travelers, which is... As you get into your flight, as you check in your bag and you get into your flight, there should be a fair amount of certainty that your bag has made it. Yep. And then when you get out and uh, you get to the conveyor belt, 
that your bag is going to be there when you reach the conveyor belt, right? right. If we manage to get this right, I think it's going to solve so much, uh, uh, give so much uh, ease of uh, travel to our travelers. So that's one thing. Right? So this is just my personal request. Uh, please make that happen. Right. Because mm -hmm. there's so much suspense just yeah. waiting and watching the bags like coming up the conveyor yeah. one by mm -hmm. one. Just wondering like, did my bag... Excitement is good, but certainty <laughs> is better. No, not right. excitement like, are all my yes. clothes here in a foreign <laughs> country or do I have to go shopping again? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. As I said, excitement is good, but predictability is better in this case. Is, is, is better, yeah. yeah. Yes. So Oxfam released a report in January and said that India's top 1% own more uh, than 45 40.5% of its total wealth in 2021, so a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask, like, in a country of those extremes, right, where human labor is, is, is plentiful, how do you balance human employment with deployment of tech like AI that could replace some jobs? Okay. India has always been a land of contrast, right? right. Uh, you, uh, you have cases where uh, there is a good portion of the country which is still... Uh, below the poverty line and so on. Yet at the same time, we have launched a mission to the moon and we have launched, we have landed successfully on the moon, right? Yeah. One of only three countries to do that. So India has always been a land of contrast. And uh, so there is concentration of wealth, but the positive trend that is happening in the country is now these people who have the wealth are also becoming uh, employment creators or job creators, right? Because they are uh, giving rise to the entrepreneurial spirit in the country and they are uh, themselves setting up a lot of uh, industries which are creating jobs right. uh, and also uh, supporting other entrepreneurs. So that's happening on the uh, wealth creator side, right? Now on technology, right? Uh, yes, we need to do that balancing act between how can technology transform industry transform countries, yet at the same time, balance the need for mass scale employment for the large middle class and the large population that we have in the country, right? So that's a responsibility that we all need to carry as technologists to make sure that we find this balance, right? And clearly, there are opportunities uh, of technology, there is any new technology trend that comes in, including AI, the initial fear is this is going to disrupt a lot of jobs and uh, how are we going to sustain employment? Right. But when the dust settles and as you understand more about the technology, you start seeing the opportunities, right? You start seeing that as technology disrupts various businesses, it also creates a lot of possibilities of more innovation coming in, more opportunities coming in for different employment opportunities, right? And that's the stage we are in also with a, a new technology like AI. And uh, so that's, if we manage to find that balance between uh, employment and job creation and technology transformations and do that hand in hand, uh, the country will be successful. Right. I think, so my next question is uh, an, is an expansion of, of what you just said, right? Like uh, the role that a company like Amadeus can play mm -hmm. in closing the income gap. It's a big mm -hmm. question, but your thoughts. Okay. So again, for us, uh, we truly believe that diversity and inclusivity is a key aspect for the business to succeed, right? Uh, the more diverse employment that we create, the more we get diversity in our solutions, more innovations coming in. So that's a key aspect of uh, what our leadership team looks at, right? Which is how can we make the workforce more diverse? Right. After that, any new technology is also going to create a lot of new jobs. Uh, like AI, again, we see it's going to... Uh, uh, create new roles that are coming in of uh, a prompt engineer, uh, people who can train these large data sets, large language models, and create uh, 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 create better refined uh, recommendations that come out from the AI engine. Right. So there are new jobs that are created. We also are quite serious about upskilling our uh, engineers and generally the industry is looking at how to upskill uh, uh, their workforce on all these new trends that are coming in like AI and making sure that they understand these techniques and use that in a very responsible way. Right, because right. again, with any new technology, there are also some concerns around privacy, security, and so on. And the more the engineers are educated and aware, the better uh, they leverage these technologies. So we are focusing a lot on uh, uh, skill ups, upskilling our engineers and upskilling our workforce. Uh, 
we're also looking at uh, data governance and uh, looking at making sure that we use the data that we have on our platform. And it's a pretty large platform which uh, transforms the entire travel industry. So there's a lot of uh, data sitting on our platform. How right. are we using that data? responsibly because we are also uh, the custodians for this data for our customers, right? So uh, data governance officers, uh, ethical officers, AI ethicists are all these new jobs that we are seeing. Mm -hmm. And the more we incorporate these kind of diversity in our workforce, the more we will then be able to plug the income gap and the diversity gap in the industry. Right, right, right. right. So last question would be, so, uh, based on the research that's being done, What's a lesser known upcoming travel trend that you are excited about? A lesser known travel trend is uh, how you marry virtual reality with AI techniques and uh, the, the, uh, the need to travel and predictability on your baggage, uh, even not having any baggage and instead uh, get to your destination right. and there you get uh, a, a solution for all your uh, travel needs and then you travel bagless, baggageless, right? Right. That to me is something that is coming in the future. I thought it would uh, be in the distant future, but already there are solutions and there are companies who are providing these kind of solutions. You travel without bags. And right. they'll manage it for you. And they will manage it. They will manage giving you the uh, the solution for your entire wardrobe at your destination so that you use it there, you leave it there, you come back home. Right. Right. That's happening. And to me, that uh, is pretty exciting as That's to how exciting. this will shape up. Right. Right. Okay. Mani, thank you so much for your time. All right. It was a pleasure. Thank you, uh, Arvind. Thanks for the opportunity. And uh, it's a great conference. Uh, we have been travel here. Thank you.